Hey guys, every video you gotta put. If I don't have the girls, the kids, you guys haven't seen the new baby yet. I'll put the baby in one of the videos coming up. We got we have a new baby, Ophelia. But if it's not Ellie, it's this dog in all the pictures. Um, Justin and Bo at Vintage Fifty Five Restorations. I got a video about GE fridges, General Electric fridges. Everybody always asks me what year. We have another video on dating fridges, and uh, it's called How to Date. Or how to date your vintage fridge and somebody I forget who it was somebody chimed in I I, I, uh, I usually just take him to dinner in a movie thought that was awesome but this is how to date GEs specifically they're kind of the most common and most reliable fridges that I find for you know, mid-century so this is a General Electric this is a hot point hot point was bought by J by GE and so this applies to both of them for a certain period of time they they were owned and it's the same body. So we're going to go dance around a little bit with years. So this is the 47 to 52 body for GE. It's much more rounded. All all of, everything's more rounded. This is the two door combination model. The emblems changed from year to year. The inside was basically the same. Move bow. Inside was basically the same, had pretty basic shelving and drawers and things like that. But if you notice, there's no shelves in the door. That is a proprietary thing. Uh, there's another video on Crosley's that talks about door shelving. And that came about in 52 for GE. So if you have this, will you stop it? If you have a, a GE with rounded body and it has door shelves, it's a 52. 53, the body changed, and before 52, there was no door shelves. So this, like I said, is a hot point. If you look, it's the same exact body shell. The handles are different, and usually there'll be a different trim emblem or things like that. But the inside, other than being way cleaner, this is a an earlier style, but this is a 52 with the door shelving. And the GE shelving is a little different. So the the faces of the of the drawers and the door shelves themselves and the I, th I think these are the same the edging on these but little tiny things like that will differentiate a GE and a hot point but the pieces are interchangeable you can use hot point drawers on a GE and vice versa they'll just say hot point on them so this is the 47 through 52 GE hot point combination the two door combo models so if you follow me over here, this is another combination model. But if you look, well, one, the handles are totally different. And they have these cool scratch guards. I have a couple videos on this, this model. This is the Lazy Susan model that everybody talks about. But obviously, it's, it's the, the left-hand version. So this would be right hand and left, as well as those other ones would. But if you look, I know they kind of look similar, but this one's much more squared off. There's corners. On all of them, this is more sharp, but mostly it's this corner. This seam is not there on the, the earlier models. It's much more round. And inside on these, inside on these is the Lazy Susan shelving. This all has door shelving now. These are removable. And this is all, all different. There was a the same body for the same time period. You could get magnetic ones, and they have like an L with a scratch plate behind it. There was an early magnetic one, and that's just a variation of the same the same body. You could get these and the other one, the combination models, in single door versions as well, in magnetic or not magnetic magnetic for those for these. So the single door version, I don't have any of the. Oh, I'm sorry. This generation went right after that other one. So those ones ended in 52. 53, the body got crisp edging, and then it had vertical handles with scratch guards, gold scratch guards, for 53 only. After 53, it went to these handles, and this went from 54 to 56. 54, 55, 56 with this style handle. And this body. The body continued on a couple more years with the magnetic only because they banned 
the mechanical latches after 56. And there's a video on that as well. So this is the single door version. The emblem is off. Looks like that. But there's multiple different emblems and different types. This is the deluxe trim scratch guard behind it, but still got that round body that those original that are those original combinations over there have that I showed you. So this is the single door version of the 57 through 52 GE body. And like I mentioned before, no door shelving. So this is not a 52. This is 47 through 51. And I forget what the emblems are on each one, but the emblem changes for each of those years. That's how you can tell it uh, which year it is. Now, before that, 47, what happened before 1947? You know, World War. And so we weren't making fridges. But right before World War II, this was the body that you had. This is a 39 specifically, but these big, this big waterfall design in the center, uh, the kind of art, it's way more art deco. And this looks so antiquated to that just in terms of styling because it was a big jump. It went from, I think this started in 37, but don't mark my words on that. So from 1937 to 1947, one, that's 10 years in a very dramatic period. World War happened, styling changed, everything changed. And so this was grandpa, you know, by the time that other one came around. But so this, that, that's what all your uh, GE fridges look like from 1939 to 1957, I think was the last year on that with the magnetic one on the other, the other generation. But. Like I said, each one of those, there'll be variations on sizes. They made smaller, wider, taller, two-door combination models, single doors, magnetic versus mechanical latches, a couple different variations, and then Lazy Susan models and not Lazy Susan models. For those models, they weren't all Lazy Susans, so that gen, you could get both. But, <coughs> but anyway, hope you learned something. See you guys.